So an early start this morning. Um, not on the boat though. I'm jumping on the train and uh, heading down to Brisbane, and then I've got to catch a bus down to Byron for Wombie's birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. train trip to uh, Brizzy was good. Uh, now I've got to jump on a bus and spend three hours on that getting down to Byron. Fun and games. Oh yes, and the bus trip could be interesting. So the morning ritual uh, here at Byron, Wendy goes for a swim and I take uh, Ted for a walk and then we come back for coffee. Well it's been uh, a good little uh, week here at Byron Bay. I've done a few walks with Ted. Wombie's been doing some swimming, done a few jobs around the house. Starting to miss the boat a little bit, but uh, hey, don't tell Wombie. <laughs> nice swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So here we are at uh, Emerson Cottage. This is uh, what when one of the cabins that Wendy has booked for the uh, birthday bash. Pretty nice outlook. Plenty of bush turkeys around. And not far over to the other cottages where the kids are staying. There's even a bit of a nautical flavour associated with the septic tank.
not uh, Zach's shack, it's Jeff's shed. Time for Corona, I think. All of Wendy's family's here. Brothers, brothers-in-law, sisters, sisters-in-law, kids and grandkids. It's a fantastic weekend. So where are you girls going tonight, Wombi? Not very far. I'll be about a metre from here. Uh, give, it, give, it, give us your catch phase. Not far. We're, we're, I can invite no Wendy's son and daughter-in-law organised for a fantastic catered dinner to celebrate that night. Well, it's been a huge weekend. It was great catching up with everyone here, the whole family uh, in three cabins, right in the beach at Byron Bay. Fantastic. But um, big pack up day today, and tomorrow I jump on the plane, head back up to the boat. So I'll be back up in uh, Gladstone. So here I am sitting at uh, the bus pickup area at uh, Byron Bay. Uh, three hour trip to Brisbane Airport and then on the Fokker and up to Gladstone. So I'll be back at, uh, at the boat by about uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight hopefully. Travelling pretty light but um, it's been good down here but I really do miss the boat when I'm away from it and uh, it's time to get back up and have a few more adventures I think. Wendy's got a bit more to do here, so she's going to dwell for a while and get some things done, and then she'll catch up with me uh, when she can. But um, anyway, it was a great weekend for her birthday. We had a good time. Caught up with family and the kids. Excellent. And uh, yeah, it is good to be going back to my home. <laughs> by pulling this strap and to release simply lift the clasp on
as a master mariner, you'll be fully qualified. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Beautiful day here in Gladstone, and uh, I've got um, Barry and Anne on board for a night or two. So we decided that uh, it's a good opportunity to just go out and give the boat another run and uh, test things out another little bit. And um, we're just going to head out to one of the islands out here and have some lunch. Bit of tide running here, Baz. We just anchored off uh, Picnic Island. We've had a bit of lunch. Could get out of the marina for a minute. And we're going to uh, let a couple of gas ships go past before we head back to the marina. So there's two gas ships uh, heading up the main shipping channel right now. Say goodbye to uh, Annie and Baz from Taz. <laughs> Any words of wisdom before you go, Baz? <laughs> you, you ended what he has to say. It wouldn't help. No, it just would not help. A man of many words, Baz from Taz. But for all those viewers out there, you just don't know this man. <laughs> just stay many nautical miles away. And I've got to say goodbye to Cleo too. She's been on the boat for a couple of days. Good girl, Cleo. Wanted to eat me when I first met her, but now she's my mate. <laughs> Baz's birthday today. 69. See you, Cleo. Yes, <laughs> Tie for Din Din's tonight. There's a great little one, um, if you're in Gladstone, there's a great little trailer set up near the um, Seaman's Mission cooking Thai food and it's really delicious so I thought instead of um, having to make dinner and wash up tonight I'll go up and treat myself to some Thai and I've got a lovely honey chicken some coconut rice and it's beautiful but anyway um, I'm just working out what I'm going to do well I know I'm going to go tomorrow but I'm just um, been going over the calculations for whether I go up <clears throat> the outside out through the south entrance and up around Cape Cap or through the Narrows and um, up into Keppel Bay that way. I think I'm going to do the Narrows. We've got really high tides at the moment. The tides, uh, I think, are five and a half, six metres, so they're really big ones. And I think I'll leave here at about eight o'clock in the morning. High tide at uh, Ramsey Crossing or the Cattle Crossing will be at about 11 o'clock. So if I leave at eight, they'll give me three hours. I should get up there in plenty of time. And I think I'll probably pick up at least a couple of knots uh, on the trip doing it that way so um, I'm going to go up through the narrows if the winds okay when I get to the um, the top of the narrows or sea hill I'll keep on going I'll get a bit of sail out and sail across the Keppel uh, if it's not I'll find a little creek there to hide in and um, we'll spend a day or so there just waiting for the weather to get across but um, it's been great here in Gladstone I've got all my jobs done I've done a lot of work on the boat which has been great and um, yeah it's time to go and start cruising again so I have enjoyed my stay here. The facilities are A1. Coal dust is a little bit of a problem. You've got to wash your boat pretty regularly. But um, yeah, the crew here are great and the facilities are, are top class. So definitely worth having a look at Gladson and um, head up to the corner and get some Thai uh, while you're here because it's really yummy.
busy harbour here at Gladstone and you should always contact uh, VTS on channel 13 when you're uh, coming out of the marina or heading up into Gladstone either from the north or the south. Um, they'll tell you what shipping there is um, coming in or out and uh, it just helps them to keep track so always monitor 13 while you're in the harbour monitor channel 13 then the ships can talk to you um, and contact VTS and let them know of your intentions and remember some of these ships uh, in the harbour here will be travelling at uh, up to 10 knots so they can sneak up on you pretty quick be aware of them we're experiencing very big tides at the moment so very high highs very low lows uh, but that means that as I go up through the narrows I'm going to pick up a lot of speed I reckon I'll get an extra couple of knots uh, by doing it on the rising tide but also when ships are coming into Gladstone they have to maintain steerage so they'll be probably picking up a couple of knots off the tide and uh, you might find them going a little bit faster than normal as they head up the shipping channel a pretty fair wind and uh, I think I'm just going to get the headsail out and use a bit of it. I'll definitely want to use if it stays like this I'll definitely want to use this uh, when we get out into Keppel Bay and get across the Keppel but uh, might as well use a bit while we're heading up through the narrows I guess too. I dare say that uh, when it starts to twist and turn I might have to furl it up but we'll just see how we go. Probably good to shake a bit of coal dust out of the sail as well. So this is the black swan mark up in front of us and uh, the start of the shallow water. So I think I'll keep the sail out because it's uh, doing a good job and I think uh, the wind direction's pretty good, although it's dropped out a bit. I might wind it up in a minute and uh, not have to worry about it while we go through the narrows or through the cattle crossing anyway. I think I'm going to uh, just wind the sail up while we're um, going up through the shallow water of the cattle crossing. Just something else I don't have to worry about and uh, I can concentrate on my navigation. Probably hold it but we, it winds around a little bit and it uh, might be a little bit hard to keep it full. We'll get it out again when we get out into Keppel Bay. Well, it's been uh, a pretty good trip and we're here uh, right on high tide, I reckon. Or we'll be at the cattle crossing right on high tide, so that's going to be good. Then we'll get a bit of tide uh, back out into Keppel. That's one of the reasons I came through the cattle crossing again, is uh, I picked up a good lift off the tide with the big tides we've had. I picked up a couple of knots, so uh, made for a better trip. Down the outside I probably would have, uh, the wind would have been okay but you're never really sure. If I got round to the north a bit it would have made it a bit uncomfortable and a bit hard travelling. So if I do it this way once I get to Sea Hill if it doesn't look too good uh, out in Keppel Bay I can just hang there and uh, wait till tomorrow morning or something like that but uh, yeah I think it'll be all right. If the wind stays the way it is um, we'll have a good trip across Keppel Bay and uh, probably make home Long Beach for a day or two. This area here is uh, around about the shallowest part of the uh, crossing and uh, we've missed the tide a bit. The tide's going out this side now but once we get uh, up where the boats are in front of us it'll be going out the other way so we'll pick that up and run it uh, down to Sea Hill. So we've done it pretty well the sun's out, should be a nice uh, motor sail across Keppel Bay, I'm hoping. So 
the other side of the cattle crossing now and uh, up to 7.8 so got the tide running with us again just leaving the narrows a uh, bit of breeze out here from the east really and uh, we're getting along at a pretty good clip drive the sail twice and shock horror I just bought a new nozzle for my hose yesterday at Bunnings and the nozzle's unscrewed off it and fallen overboard bugger another 12 bucks I gotta spend this wind's uh, a little bit against us at the moment it's a bit hard on the nose but um, we're doing okay and uh, and as I said that you just backwinded so um, we should be able to hold it I think if we can't I'll just have to roll it up and, and motor up but uh, a little bit uncomfortable with the waves being on the nose like this not the best point of sail we've only got about two hours to uh, GKI and then we can get out of it I guess Having run those damper plates for about 12 hours now, uh, they seem to be really doing the job. The boat seems to be uh, a bit quieter and uh, a little bit less vibration. So I think I did spend a fair bit of time lining the motors up, which may have helped. Um, thanks very much to uh, Brad for giving me a hand with that. It was much appreciated, mate. But uh, yeah, after running for 12 hours, I think everything's pretty good. So. Uh, I feel confident now that we can get cruising again and um, not have to worry too much about um, damper plates at least. There'll be something else down the track for sure, there always is, but uh, look I think the boat's pretty well up to scratch now and uh, we should be able to just go and enjoy it. Okay so we're just about at uh, Great Keppel Island, been a good trip across, about two and a half hours. Out in front of us is uh, Long Beach. That's going to be really good in anything from the north. It's pretty well out of the east at the moment. There's a little island over here called Humpy and there's a good beach on it and a bit of an anchorage in behind. What I think I'm going to do is go over and have a look at that anchorage there, just see what it's doing. If it's not that good, I can always go across to uh, Long Beach and find a spot there for the night. So not much swell on, a little bit of wind chop and uh, once we get in behind this island it might be all right but it's just a matter of going over there and having a look looks pretty good over there, there's a couple of boats on the beach so there's no swell on the beach at all and uh, I think I'll go over and check it out Get the anchor snubber set up before I run over this little fishing boat. You can see the bottom's um, pretty flat looking. And that'll be sand I'd imagine, so I think this will be a good, good a spot as any to drop the pick. just take you out the front and show you uh, what the snubber does so we'll have a look at the plotter before we go we're in 5.6 good flat bottom that's what I always look for when I'm uh, anchoring I'll put the chain on the bottom and let it dig in and then I attach the snubber this is the snubber here this rope here is the snubber and you can see that it's taken all the weight off the chain so there's no weight on the, well there's still weight on the chain but it's taken all the weight off the uh, capstan, off the um, winch so that chain is not doing anything, there's no weight, weight on that windlass now and it's all being taken by the snubber so that's what I use a snubber for the last thing left to do is just uh, pack the sail up and uh, I don't think I'll probably use it very much around here because all my trips are going to be quite short. I'll go across to Long Beach tomorrow. 
I've only got to go about 10 or 15 minutes and I'll be over there. If I've got to go to uh, Keppel Bay Marina, it's only an hour in that direction. Uh, it's all pretty handy here. When you're at Great Keppel, you tend to do what they call the GKI shuffle. So when the wind's coming from the north, you're usually at Long Beach. If it goes around to the south, you'll be around at Spenson's on the other side of the island. They're both great beaches and both got uh, plenty of anchorage there. This little one I'm here on at the moment is called uh, Humpy Island. And in an easterly, it's not too bad, as long as there's not too much swell on, which there isn't. So I think we'll have a pretty pleasant night here. Anyway, let's get this sail away. Coast Guard Yapoon, Coast Guard Yapoon, Coast Guard Yapoon. This is Peggy Ann, Peggy Ann 2-1. Peggy Ann, Peggy Ann, this is Coast Guard Japan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Coast Guard Japan, this is Peggy Ann, we're on your log this afternoon. Um, you can take us off, we've just anchored at Humpy. Thanks for your assistance, over. Yeah, Coast Guard, copy that, Peggy Ann, I've got you up off. You have a great night, we'll uh, hear from you tomorrow, sir. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Coast Guard Japan, thanks for your help. We'll stand by on 16 two, one. Well, this is what it's uh, all about, finding a little spot out of the wind, a nice beach, and uh, a cold beer. We move across the Long Beach and start to enjoy everything that Great Keppel Island has to offer. We find some really interesting things on the beach and even get to have a swim. And then we move around to Fisherman's and explore the tavern there. See you next week, dudes.